Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Pequeño Pod with Senor Pequeños. If you want episodes early, bonus episodes, special guest interviews, and other perks, please consider supporting us on Patreon, which will give you all of those things for the price of one coffee cup per month. You can find us at patreon.com slash pequeñopod, P-E-Q-U-E-N-O pod. Otherwise, enjoy this free episode, and I hope you have an awful day. So when looking at the speakers, I have an option between headphones or headset and they're both Ugh. the same thing like they both list tozo they're called tozo it's just a great mm. brand name <laughs> one letter away from bozo toes oh no, that too <laughs> <laughs> Nick's like, I'm checking my phone. I'm so bored. No, like five people just called me and I was like, what's going on? Five people? I'm late for the sixth sum. Sorry. It's called an orgy. I was going to say, at what point do you call it an orgy? Is it after three? Asking know. for a friend. <laughs> I'm just saying. I feel like this is something I should know. This is something you guys don't know? So you, you would know that. You're, uh, you've been in group sex things. <laughs> you pervert. Every hotel got the cook chair. You know, the Marriott just got the cuck room <laughs> discounted. That's why I get it, because I'm like, I like deals. You're just watching a couple fuck in the corner, but I mean, hey. It sucks. <laughs> this, well, this is pretty good for <laughs> hands shaking, reaching for the Gideon Bible in the <laughs> nightstand. <laughs> Let me swing right by you. Your chair is just where you sleep for the night. Like, you don't actually even get a bed or anything. <laughs> oh, oh uh, I think they're inviting me to scream tomorrow. I'm just hoping one of these Matthew Lillard comes back. That would be... I saw him at Comic-Con. I didn't take a picture with him or anything, but I was like 10 feet wait, away. And they were wait, like, wait, please... Wait, 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 what? You met him? No, I, well, like, you had to pay to like... Like take oh, a like picture a and get it. Situation? Yeah, yeah. Ew, like to take a picture with him, but you could walk right up to where he was, and he was like, <laughs> he was just talking to people. And then um, one of my brother's friends actually went and got a picture with one of the WWE divas because I guess he's like in love with her, and he saw her and he Loser. was like, "Loser." <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, he's like, because I'm in I love with Matthew Lillard. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> guys, I need to get an autograph from her right now. I'm going to get it on my body and get a tattoo of it. And we're like, please don't. Who? Please don't do it, man. <laughs> Did uh, he do it? He tried to. And then the security was like, we don't let them like touch your body. Put your nipples so, away, like, please. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not well, he, her touching me. It's, it's the, the pen. Sharpie. <laughs> it's the <laughs> Sharpie. <laughs> please draw my balls. <laughs> They're hiked in my waistband. Please, in a hurry. It hurts. <laughs> Holding out my balls. <laughs> Look, I'll put them up at eye level for you. <laughs> stretchy. Yeah. <Ew. laughs> my brother's friends are like, do you know how stretchy your brother's balls are? And I was like, why would I know that? And they're like, I've seen him literally take a picture and stretch them out to like his knee. Like his knee was in the photo and his mm. balls were in the photo next to them. And I was like, mm. I don't want to know that. That's awful. And I, I was like, you guys know like way one. too much about each other. I don't like this. You know, I got to be honest. <laughs> I'm cutting this out. I don't even care. No, keep it in. <laughs> <laughs> the people deserve to know. <laughs> no, they don't. How many people are going to die because of this information? They'd probably giggle. <laughs> <laughs> and then my brother's friend got the WWE picture <sighs> and he like coomed. And she was, she's in the Mandalorian. I don't know. They're supposed to be in more episodes this season because there was a whole Mandalorian panel of like the three I, of them. And so they were all next to each other. And like when my brother's friend was like breathing heavily next to the WWE girls, like the, the like Mandalorian Bo-Katan lady just like walked up to him and was like, hey, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. He, he didn't recognize it was her. And then he was just like, I just saw her abs and was like really, really scared. And I was like, what? And then he's like, I don't know, man, it was intimidating. And then I saw there was a poster of her behind us. And uh, yeah, <laughs> she's one of the main characters in The Mandalorian, apparently. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> oh, I looked, I don't know. I don't know anything about WWE. I looked up Sasha Banks and the first thing that comes up is Mercedes Monet. And I'm like, I guess that's her real name. I think I've just gone with your real name, honestly. <laughs> Mercedes. <laughs> Mercedes wow. Monet. That's cool. What's up, Eminem? <laughs> What's up, Monet? What are you fucking painting? <laughs> It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with Sasha. <laughs> Sasha Banks. <laughs> All right. Leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> Lively's friend is gonna comment on this. <laughs> Strangles me with John's stretched nuts. <laughs> okay.
Okay. John. All right. All right. Sorry. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. Apparently, they went to um, L.A. last year just to go to WrestleMania. That's cool. I mean, but just they bought for that. tickets for the wrong weekend. Oh <laughs> man, yeah. I don't have anything else to add to that. <laughs> Yeah, so we just wandered around the streets, um, but golly, we found the that's... best tacos I ever Ooh. had. That's good. <laughs> People have asked a bunch about uh, about your background. Is that Samurai Jack? I can't remember. Oh, yeah, that's, that's Samurai Jack. This one is Persona 5, and that, that one is Nazi Omni propaganda. Man. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I bet- and that one's my so. blood on a slide. <laughs> oh, okay. I bought more, so you guys are going to see more posters. <laughs> more blood? Uh, yep. Actually, yes, they are all blood. There, There's blood in all of them, so. Nice. <laughs> nice. I just think it's funny. Like, people always ask, like, where you get posters. Like, whenever they see them, they're like, oh, Samurai Jack poster, psych poster. Where'd you get it? I'm like, the, the, the store? I don't, <laughs> Amazon? The store? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that's. It's like, you mean the place where everyone buys things? Yeah, there. I, I did that. <laughs> I get I them from the conventions answer. because then they're cheaper. You don't have to. I got it through. from Samurai Jack. Yeah. So Jack Samurai Jack himself? was there, was there this year that I bought it. And he was like five feet away from the the person selling this. And he was like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> Is that licensed? <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's, I know. Right. Like my mom, I, I brought home some like Star Wars posters and she's like, do they pay like to, to get. <laughs> the rights to that or and i was like hell no sure like small up, artists that's the fun of mean? it mark <laughs> <laughs> she's like ethical bug from puss in boots oh god no one seen puss in boots yet are you kidding me nope. want to none of you it's isn't ah. it about to be free on time in like a week <laughs> it's on peacock already it's on peacock Okay, then I don't I'll watch pay it. for Peacock. It's free on Pisscock. <laughs> no, you right, don't pay for I'll Peacock. It. It's free. Peacock's yeah, but free. if you want to watch the movies. I thought that was the thing with Peacock is like literally the day Halloween would come out in theaters. They'd be like, yep, it's on Peacock for free. And you were like, oh, what? Yeah, All right. No, they're like, yeah, tr- got to pay. <laughs> uh-uh. I've seen it. I have like, Peacock. I'm, talk- I'm telling you. I'm telling I know. I'm you. saying I have it, and I've watched movies that have come out on the weekend Peacock. they came out for free. Are you sure you're not paying for it? Because it always, every time yeah, I click on like, no. a new thing, it's like, you check your bill, and there's like hundreds I look at of my dollars bill. taken out. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Family like, account. Like, <laughs> <laughs> your parents are like, who keeps buying shit on here? <laughs> who keeps buying Puss in Boots 2 every week? What the fuck is going they keep on, dude? Watching that. <laughs> they're like, "Puss, what is what is this?" Hey, yeah, Out of my were. house. <laughs> Can we finally read Apple Podcast reviews before I forget about? It? Yeah, Fingle. Uh, this one's from Fingle McDingle Doodle. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh. My uncle. <laughs> oh, okay. Love the podcast. He's in jail now. <laughs> <laughs> Review from jail. <laughs> That's the title. <laughs> I'm oh getting God, finger stopped. banged to your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Makes me giggle. Oh my God. <laughs> maybe it's the finger. Maybe it's your podcast. I don't really know what's making me giggle. But Wait, what life <laughs> Oh, I, I saw like a, a video of a, a jail basketball league and there were just these guys using like the milk carton as like a hoop. And they're like, basketball. <laughs> oh, and like, my brother. I was like, that won't bounce very well. <laughs> Like, how'd they how'd they get the camera in there? How'd they get the phone in there to record this? And they were just going hard, man. They were dunking on the milk carton. They were I was like, what? Because it was like a meme. Uh, because Sean Kemp this week was a he, so he's like a former Seattle Sonic, like one of the most famous ones here. So he's like, oh, he's like a Seattle icon. And Sean Kemp's hemp shop is really popular in downtown Seattle. He's got like a really big weed store right and uh apparently he he, uh pulled out a gun and shot it at a guy last night but he missed so everybody's making fun of him for missing Like it's Sean Kemp, Kemp wild, dude. <laughs> they're like Sean Kemp in the uh, in the, the prison basketball league, and like 
<laughs> the says, other basketball player who just this week like beat up like a 15 year old in like a pickup basketball huh? game and then pulled a gun out on bro, him. Bro, what are we talking about? And we everybody's were just like, talking dude, about everybody's him. like, what? dude, you are that, not you, hard. What are you talking about? <laughs> we're just talking about Josh Hepp pulling a gun. We're back on 15 year olds in prison Shit. basketball. Wait, what basketball player was it? What the oh, fuck it? are you talking about? <laughs> no! Josh Kemp shot somebody? Sean Kemp. Sean Hemp. <laughs> ass slinging, the ass bringing was like this basketball player and Sean Kemp. If they don't like stop acting up, and it was just like these dudes in prison like playing basketball, and I was like, true. <laughs> uh, a lot of background for that. Yeah, a- apparently what <laughs> to had describe happened- a meme <laughs> also another meme where it was just like these guys in memphis just like shooting like hundreds of rounds of bullets oh, like with people. machine I guns you were gonna say people <laughs> oh. it was just meme. they're shooting hundreds of people <laughs> oh okay like, it was really funny it was just like a bunch of dudes like hopping off their bikes and then shooting like hundreds of rounds of machine guns into the air and i was like where did they get these? Like one of them was actually spraying bullets, like like a spark <laughs> flying out, but they were bullets. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> ten minutes later, some neighborhood just gets fucking rained on by metal. <laughs> oh, it's raining okay, outside. Oh, our roof's gone. <laughs> Oh, Uncle Phil is blown to pieces. Campus? Yeah. Like, it was, like, the middle of a college campus with all the dorms around them. And I was like, God. imagine the people inside right now. What is going on? Yeah, but the caption was, like, Sean Kemp uh, sleepover. And there's just them, like, spraying bullets. Yeah. Stop. But, uh... <laughs> but, Why is this but, whole thing on shot? What's his name? Sean <laughs> Kemp. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Jonathan, <laughs> you're, you're telling me Sean Kemp. Jonathan Hemp <laughs> shot a gun yes. in prison. <laughs> All right, sorry, I'm so stupid. Yeah, he got it's robbed, and then I guess he used. Stop his talking apple. about him. <laughs> apple like locator thing oh, to find I'm the person stop. who stole it. It's Josh and then Kemp. fucking <laughs> ah. ah! What's his name? <laughs> Sean Kemp. Okay, I got it now. That's the one. I am that's saying it right. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, he tracked him down <laughs> with his Apple <laughs> tracker thing. And Shut then he was like... the fuck up. He, he was like, like, did you rob me? And then the guy pulled out a gun and was like, yes, I did. And then he pulled out a gun in self-defense and shot at him, but, but he missed. And then... <laughs> They both got arrested at the Tacoma Mall. <laughs> Next to the Gap. Story. Now you're caught up on the lore of like my general oh, like, air, <laughs> local area. Now describe all the memes again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, we got a dude. YouTube comments are the worst. I people are always like TikTok is uh, no TikTok. We've always gotten good comments. YouTube is the fucking worst. All the comments are like stop. <laughs> it's just. Enough. <laughs> and like one of them I saw today was you guys laugh at everything. You laugh too much. Enough. And I was yes. like, would and you rather we just talk straight face? Like, poo poo, come. Hmm. Good stuff. <laughs> what the hell are we supposed to do? I just thought it was funny that this guy was like, I don't want to laugh. I'm going to cry. Is so unnatural. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find the video? I found it. <laughs> Stop showing us, dude. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to move away from Josh and Kemp. <laughs> yeah, John Hump. <laughs> How is this even a thing? Yo, they're spraying. <laughs> Dude, there's like a confetti like archway. Like it's the fucking parade. It's gun fest. <laughs> it's in the middle of like a college campus. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on, dude? Dude, only in Seattle. You don't have to turn the sound up. I know what guns sound like. There's still Whoa. 20 seconds left of that. So. <laughs> I Speaking of Brits, I, I just got distracted watching train spotting. Like, while I was downloading this stuff, I watched half of it and then was like, oh my god, thank That's god. That's why we, we sat here waiting for you. Were you watching yeah. train spotting? <laughs> like, oi! My, and I was like, oh my God, I can't understand a word they're saying. And my brother was like, yeah, they're Scottish in this. And then they're like, we're the scum of the earth. We we got colonized by wankers. We, we're not even, we're not even. I 
I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This guy oh, spit. Oh, McGregor's spitting. <laughs> yeah. Let him cook. <laughs> yeah. And then the baby. And then I, the... That's a reference, actually, if you didn't know. <laughs> that. To Ratatouille. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one. Gusto. <laughs> that's the one. Dude, I saw a ratatouille meme. That was okay. that was the that was the part where the part where Linguini's like tasting the rats like food he made. He's like, "This is delicious. What is this?" And he goes rat over, soup. and he goes, and he, "No, rat he opens the thing, and he goes, rat poison." <laughs> and it's just ten seconds of Linguini collapsing and dying. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> We gotta get off of describing memes. That's not what this podcast is about. Oh, I love the the, the meme descriptions. Keep Juliana, shut up. I saw this meme and it had a troll face. A Nick, and Nick, go. Enough, enough, yeah. enough. Please, please kill me. I saw this one about this fast food chain and their roast beef sandwich. Sorry. Okay. Fingle oh, McDingle ooh. Doodle review, remember? The roast beef <laughs> pussy lip sandwich. You can't do that. You can't do that. This month especially. No. Hey. <laughs> what? Those are respected in this household. <laughs> Women are Arby's roast beef sandwiches. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know what that means? No, move on. You said we respect those in this house and we were just talking about Arby's. I was like, what, which one are we talking about? I'm so confused. Fucking cancel this whole episode. Kill it. I'm trying to read the fucking reviews, please. Read. Okay. Fingal McDingle Doodles. <laughs> yeah, mad. go on. <laughs> yeah, go on. Go on. He says, love the podcast. Great background noise for when I'm dumpster diving behind the 7-Eleven <laughs> looking for something called walkie slush. Yes. <laughs> Just loose. <laughs> loose slushy. Loose. <laughs> No, like loose dumpster. Like there's nothing in it. It's just he's just <laughs> dumping around Pile in of- metal. Just boom. <laughs> oh, are you talking about a junkyard? No. <laughs> uh, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Landfill. Which is it? About, am I going insane? I'm crying. It's too okay, late. Okay, next review from Cross Country. Not Cross Country. Cross Country. Uh, it's called Ah. This podcast made me want to not go to Seattle, never go to a Cardinals game, lick the St. Louis Arch, eat peas and eggs, and drive off a cliff. Yeah. Uh, I have laughed, cried, and doubled over and gotten a stomach cramp from laughing. I absolutely love it so much. It's the highlight of my week and keeps me get it helps me get through a long, crappy school day. Oh, that's nice. Awesome. Glad that yeah, math? Uh-uh. Listen uh, to us instead. Yeah, don't drive off a cliff, though, because we need the, the <laughs> listens. So. To be honest, we probably, on the phone, we have more, like, engineering and math experience than any of the teachers <laughs> will probably have. And yet, here we are, talking about Josh uh-huh. Kemp. <laughs> Next review from Why Are You Fat? I feel like we had one from him before, did we not? I feel like I read uh, that, and Nick was like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm like, sorry. <laughs> It's, t- it's titled Star Wars Pun. Uh, Stormtrooper lingerie, how about Darth Vader condom? <laughs> also, what starts with an N um, and ends oh! with A. Uh, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Five stars from Dominic DN Snab. I'm coming back with another stupid review. I listened to the Funky Town VeggieTales version. I'm actually listening to it right now and just curious, how are these vegetables roller skating? Any theories? But another great episode as always. Thanks for making my day again. I think you just Aww. place them in a single roller skate and push them. Just a cucumber <laughs> jammed into a fucking yeah. boot. <laughs> Go! Skating across the floor. Bob, I can't get out. Sing Funky Town. <laughs> Bob, you sound scary. <laughs> okay, what was the other thing I was going to address? Oh, okay, so <laughs> the patron busts. So. <laughs> We have, here's the deal, here's the deal. So I was making a, here's the deal. So I'm actually modeling like an actual person in a chair with a bowl of popcorn. That's going to be Violet's new one because I had a, a st- I had another free print of the library and I was like, well, in the meantime, I'll just get one that's bigger, right? I said I was going to get one that's eight inches tall. You want to see what the library gave me? Like I remodeled, like I, I modeled it to be bigger, you know, <laughs> okay. like eight inches tall. Here's what they gave me. <laughs> the same thing. 
<laughs> they just said, fuck you. It looks a little taller. One. It looks a little bigger. They... <laughs> Only because of distance. Holy they shit, size... it is a little taller. Yeah, I know, I can tell. <laughs> we'll up it up a couple millimeters. <laughs> now look, it is a couple millimeters taller. Look! It's not... That's not even funny. Fuck them. You're like, technically it is bigger. So I'm modeling a new one for Violet, and I'm modeling one for our new $50 patron, All Father. Who um, requested oh. we? Who requested I do a skull with a sombrero, which is a fun and easy like. It's kind of one to actually. Model. <laughs> yeah, so what? we'll come back. <laughs> What'd you say? Why? Mike? Why you want? Why you want a dead person with a sombrero? Yeah, what's up with that, huh? <laughs> no. Coco. I wish Mexicans were real. Anyway, I have to leave and come <laughs> back because my thing is. Nick is leaving because of the sombrero. Comment. Yeah, <laughs> we, we so don't long. see Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna write All Father on this one. In the meantime, <laughs> I can't even read it, dude. Fuck you. <laughs> Bring it closer, at least. <laughs> Look, it's, it's a little taller than Violet. Oh, father, please. The tag, man. Have, have mercy with us. Watch Fox News and shit. <laughs> yeah, they. The rest of us would sleep in till nine, wake up and eat breakfast and whatever. She would, sleep in till she would, nine. <laughs> what's wrong with nine? That's not sleeping in. <laughs> yeah, it is. So like that is like a start for a regular day. That is oh. not sleeping in. Sleeping in is like 12. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we sleep in anyway. 9 a.m. <laughs> Dude, no. The big sleep. Until 4 a.m. 4 a.m. Yeah, yeah. She sent a Snapchat at some point and she was like, they're literally talking about whether or not dancing is gay. <laughs> Obviously. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> They whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what are you doing there, buddy? <laughs> There's only room for two gay people on this podcast. <laughs> that out of our town. <laughs> we really like to cover all the diversity standpoints here. We got, you know, the you know the gay, the women, the Mexicans, all not me. <laughs> the categories, yeah, that's it. <laughs> no other category. Glad we're separated by box. <laughs> We are this 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 group is literally like the perfect storm holding together everything we criticize. As soon as one of them drops out, everyone's gonna start piling on, right? Like if it's just Nick and I, then it's gonna be like the dudes with the podcast, you know. Or if it's just me and Juliana, it's gonna be the, just podcast, the white like people. Every other podcast, dude, dude. We have to give lively like an ancestry. <laughs> we don't know what she is. She could still work. She could still work. Twenty percent Mexican. I don't know her lore. <laughs> We make it. Oh, me stop. Like a... Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. Say it. <laughs> you don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> you that was trying out for the musical in the hall, and you were like, hey, he's just putting on his black face in the hall. <laughs> I'll get a spray tan. Stop. What's the darkest shade you guys have? <laughs> Ariana Grande. Straight in the eyes. <laughs> I'll take the Ariana Grande. Oh, not the Ariana Grande. I'll take the Ariana Grande. Day. <laughs> Yeah, Graga. Hey, I'll take the armadillo, Gron. The Graga Flaga. <laughs> Have you seen photos of her lately? She looks kind of scary. Yes! <laughs> no. I don't know, I haven't kept up. Why, what's wrong with her? I'm not used to seeing her without a spray tan, or what, but something about her looked really off. And <gasps> <laughs> yeah, I was like... I'm looking up Ariana Grande now. Now, <laughs> give it, right Give now. it to her now. Right now. She's just right on now. the toilet. Like... <laughs> Live stream bathroom. I demand footage. pictures of Ariana Grande right this instant. Uh, she looks the exact same to me. I mean, a little whiter, perhaps, but a little whiter. <laughs> a little whiter, perhaps. Uh, That's oh, how sorry, she that was right involuntary. Now. Oh my god! You said. She <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just showed you what she looked like. Uh. <laughs> uh, I was like, she looks, she looks a little bit sickly, right? And then you're like, no, no, she looks fine. And then I showed you an up close photo of her, and you're like, yeah. That's Sorry. not what I meant. Like, uh, Sorry, like she looked like her. she was sick. Like it look, I was like, it felt bad. Oh, uh. <laughs> Sorry, it felt bad. <laughs> Shows me a kid with cancer. <laughs> uh. Uh. I, uh. I can't lose. Get that away from me. <laughs> Get that away. Ew. Oh. Yeah, she's sick <laughs> as funny. in she's dope. I'm going to take a scan through this list. Oh, by the way, earlier today, right before I came on here, I went to go see that 65 movie, Lively. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, couldn't not watch this movie without thinking of you at pretty much every point he's on screen. So you have ruined him for me. 
I know. Every time the commercial comes on anywhere, which the commercial's been spread everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, Dino Movie, Dino Movie, Dino Movie. And my everyone I'm with is like, please, please shut up. I'm like, Dino Movie. And they're like, it's going to be really bad. Isn't it like a kid's movie? And I was like, it's a family, family movie, okay? Family. So, it's Fast and Furious with dinosaurs. Yep. Kill me. He, I'd rather die. He did it because he's got like a five-year-old. So Dude, my they've future gone f- stepchildren. They've gone full over the edge with the Fast and Furious movies. Have you seen the poster for 10? It's literally just Dom praying with a fucking like cross and necklace on his hand. I was like, yo, get out of the way. Where's the cars? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say they're foreshadowing the Pope Mobile. It's going to be in there. To oh, land. my gosh. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I had a nightmare the other night that I was uh, being forced into, like, an arranged marriage. Like, I literally was wrapped in the dress, and, like, I couldn't get out of it. And they were just, like, pushing me forward down the aisle, and I was like, bro, no! And it was, like, my whole family. Who was it? Who was the person? It was Daniel. (laughs) (laughs) No! Please, God, no! (laughs) Who was it? Do you not remember? Uh, Nope. I, I mean, it was remember. anybody except Adam Driver, so that's why yeah. she was doing it. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I... She's saving herself. Macklemore? I was just... <laughs> Macklemore! <laughs> I forgive you, I forgive oh, you for Speak of the Macklemore, he just had, like, a surprise concert last night. Or not last night, like, two nights ago in Seattle. Haha, <laughs> funny thrift shop guy. <laughs> he's, a, he's a Seattle boy, that's for what, sure. What, what, what? My neighbors uh-huh. are like, I, when are they going to give it up? And they're like, <laughs> they're at, what, episode 40 now? And they've ran out of shit. <laughs> We're singing Macklemore for five minutes. <laughs> I'm just no, going to the ideas. whole song. <laughs> no, anyway, all I was going to say about the 65 movie, it's yeah. it looks good. It looks really good, actually. Like, all the special effects, they look really good. But, like, nothing. I mean, it's a great concept. It looks good. I, I don't know, dude. I mean, like, there's not very much talking going on. It's like he's trying to protect some girl that he doesn't know. But she doesn't, like, they know different languages. And I was like, look, I'm not saying, like, different languages are bad. But I'm saying, like, whose decision was that so that the entire movie, they could not understand each other at any point in time. And I was like, that's, like, and they even, it's a futuristic movie, right? So he could have been like, my translator, it works. Yeah, exactly. No, literally, he explicitly says, he's like, ah, my translator doesn't work. And we're like, you, so you decided to go down this route. (laughs) Like, it's a weird normalization that, like, this has happened in a bunch of movies, I feel like, that the person that can't speak English, like, the main person just keeps yelling English saved. at them. Well, no, well, that, but also, like, that they keep talking English to them so hard that eventually they'll, they just, what, they get it, I guess? Like, the movie is an hour and a half long, and by the end, he's full-on just saying English sentences to her, and she's, like, completely, she's, she's like, like, confidently thanks, understanding Papa. them. Yeah, and I'm like, she doesn't know what the fuck he's saying. I don't get it. I feel like it's happened in a lot of movies that they just fully give up on, like, signing or motioning or anything. And they're like, I'm just going to give up trying to communicate to you at all. You speak my language or just fuck yourself. You know, like, that's what the way it feels. Like, uh-huh. Ugh, That's interesting. I had no else? idea that was one of the concepts. Uh all I knew about the movie was he was going to be in a dinosaur movie and everybody was like, oh, stinky. No, I don't want to watch that. <laughs> and I was like, and they had people come in and, and watch it to get a feedback. And everybody was like, this sucks. The dinosaurs look terrible. <laughs> they look so bad. And they had to do redo like everything involving the dinosaurs, yeah, but- I guess. I'd be interested to read about this because at least from what I was reading, like it seemed like people were like just jumping on the train without having actually seen what people were talking about. Because like I'm pretty sure these people saw like pre-released, like pre-rendered cuts. Like they weren't supposed yeah, to be finished. Final. PlayStation yeah. 2 graphics. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, like the way, like, the way the <laughs> way the way it was described was like that at that point of a, a release to like where whoever they were doing it to, like none of the special effects are ever completed by that point. But that everyone's critiques were like, ugh, the special effects aren't done. And they're like, yeah, we know. Or at least that's what it, it sounded like from reading the, the one article that I read like a week ago. But I anywho. don't know if it was normal critics or just like regular everyday it, it people looked, watching. I thought it looked but... really good. Like at no point was I like, this looks terrible. Like it they actually looked really good. And for not Jurassic Park, like we need to start normalizing dinosaurs and other movies except Jurassic yeah. Park. Yeah. Like <laughs> I want was... this movie to do well, even though it was like boring. But... That there was were the some whole good parts. Thing. Like they started advertising it really hard all of a sudden in the last, I don't know, month and a half. Really, they didn't yeah. predict it to do very well, so they were just like, "All right, we've sunk a bunch of money into this. We're gonna just like 
have it go out as kind of like a kids movie and that was how they were going to advertise it but now they're like oh, it's oh, not a oh kids people movie. people like how the dinosaurs look in this okay yeah. and we're adding new dinosaurs that they haven't seen in movies yet so that's cool and then yeah that, that like, part was yeah, cool yeah di- dinos we're gonna watch them <laughs> they're gonna fight some dinos that's right <laughs> except it's not Adam really Driver's a kids like movie super he's super like skinny in this movie because it was when he, he was looks normal filming. no he's so skinny <laughs> in it <laughs> <laughs> she was like, "I studied his naked body in this I movie." I know his body. <laughs> no, his, I mean, all you can see is his face in that movie. He looks the exact same. What do you mean he's wearing mouth. a tight shirt? He normally looks so much bigger than that. What are you talking about? He's wearing like <laughs> armor the whole movie. Lively. Okay, well, in the like, I'm not going he's, now. He's, in the commercials, he's wearing like a white shirt, and I was like, "Oh my god, what no. they do to my butt? Bo- what my boy's biceps? Where are they? What do they do to his butt?" <laughs> Where's- no, he literally is only it's in so armor no. the whole movie. Weasel Otter Boy is skinny. Oh, oh no. One of the things All I right. noticed about this movie is it gained a lot of traction on Twitter where it was like, Adam Driver dinosaur movie? I'll 100% see that. Yeah, I that's know. what I mean. These people were like piling on. So like, that's why I was like, I never saw like a hate for that movie. Not hate, yeah. but like people being like, oh, stupid dinosaurs. Like, I, I never saw that on my end. I just get tired of. I mean, I like a bunch of people. I just saw way too many comments of people being like, "I saw the previs. It, the special effects were terrible." I'm like, "No, you didn't. This was not publicly available. Not everybody fucking saw this. You just like to say that special effects are shit. They look really good in this movie. I don't know how because there's no way they had good budget or anything, but it looked yeah, good. They didn't Who made really... this? I don't fucking know. Like I what company? Know. Studio. It's not like, no idea. like Warner Brothers or anything. It. I missed I the first it's 25 a... minutes. It's... What? Well, that's uh, what. How? What? Um, <laughs> Yeah, it was boring. <laughs> the you movie starts. The movie. <laughs> shut up. There's 23 minutes of trailers, and I missed the uh-huh. trailers on purpose, so I missed uh-huh. the first yeah, two so minutes miss, of the movie. You miss how he fucking gets there, that it's like a parallel no, I didn't. universe? No, I didn't. I watched that. I saw that. Eat my ass. We have to move off You're, this topic. None of this is fun. <laughs> no, you heard Adam Driver's voice about- and he runs into the theater. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no. Oh, um, I fresh. rushed to that movie to get there because I knew we were recording, so I was like, well, I'm going to put my showing at 4 p.m. now instead of whatever it was at 7. <laughs> uh, so I don't think, I think, I don't know. I don't think it's for kids. I was mean, it's like face? Jurassic World movie. It, not No, his face is pretty. But uh, no, there's a lot of like I was him like, finally a movie where and... they let him have long, greasy hair again. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let him More for me to and... pull. Yeah. <sighs> Ooh. His hair. Yeah. Fuck the wigs they keep giving him. They're so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> um no but like so i mean it's pretty much two it's pretty much an hour and a half of him grunting and wheezing you'll like that part and uh like falling over into like piles of shit and like touching Ooh. sticky shit and yelling at the girl that doesn't do. know english <laughs> you know um uh. they try to I, I don't know if they were trying to go for the like a last of us vibe with some like way they edited it but like it's it the it's dynamic to between be a survivalist the dynamic between Adam and I saw it, I know, but I mean like the dynamic between him and the girl. This is the first twenty five. <laughs> the dynamic between him and the girl switches from like, huh, they're joking oh. together to like you know, you know all the movies where like an adult uh-huh. is watching over a kid, you know, so it's like you've got you got the one where they're friends, you've got the one where like the reluctant old person that hates the kid, you've got you know, the one where the adult gets upset at the kid because they bring up some past dead kid trauma, you know. And they kept switching between all those. Yeah, so one is, minute they'd be like, trope. one minute they'd be joking with each other. And the next minute he's like, I fucking hate kids. <laughs> you're just like, huh? Oh, okay. Like it was just out Honor, of nowhere. And you're like, like biracial one. child. Oh! <laughs> there was literally a part where it's showing his face. His face is straight. It cuts to her. And he does something to make her laugh. He, he goes like, <laughs> it comes back to him. Still straight face. I was like. Huh? <laughs> that's kind of how adam driver is so in real random. life though he'll he'll say like the weirdest like bonker shit and then have like a straight face and everybody's like is he joking or not and i'm like oh funny <laughs> he is really good at like sticking like he serious so in a character <laughs> no, he's the opposite all. of me i crack I, up I, all the fucking yeah, time I was gonna say, I think but like in snl when really everyone funny. was like laughing their ass off and he's just like still sitting there just doing the fucking skit yes <laughs> anyway, like, we gotta get off of my Adam seed into her. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, All right, then. In case you're wondering. Uh, okay. Oh, thanks. 
That's too bad. Yeah, Sony's they're not doing fantastic lately. Leave I will never forget. <laughs> I will never forget the end of Morbius making me want to fucking harpoon myself so, in the so eye. Your first, your first mistake was going to see Morbius. <laughs> I was gonna say I still haven't seen Morbius. I have not seen Morbius. You Morbius. haven't seen Morbius? No, I'm not gonna go see Morbius. <laughs> Well, you can't go see it now, but I mean, like, I'm not gonna you're not going to see it ever? Watch it for, no, absolutely not. Not to make fun of? Dude, no. it's funny. Come to Colorado. We'll watch it. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, like Juliana, a, it's like more of a reason to not go if I had one. Juliana yeah, exactly. calls like, Nick, like, pray, like, like panic calls Nick, like, you've got to get me the fuck out of here. <laughs> She's playing me. Morbius every Again. night. <laughs> My flight isn't for another week. Please. Please. <laughs> How do I cancel? How do I cancel? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, we've watched the, it seven dude, the post, times. Just, just, just YouTube the post credit scene of that movie because it is the most ridiculous asshat shit you've ever seen. It makes no sense. Aren't they making anyway. a sequel? Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We have to move on from this topic. I've got so many more things no. on here. No. Any, Wait. Nick never puts in any topics. Do you have anything, Nick, that's happened in the last two weeks that you want to talk about? Uh, no, but on Saturday, I'm Okay, well, and moving on. Okay, <laughs> I'm, kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Famous Bosnian DJ Salvatore Ganacci. I'm meeting him on Saturday. Oh, cool. Uh, Daniel, I think I sent you the, the video. You guys are gonna collab. Oh, you did? Wait, the video of, of uh, him? It's like or? a music video of his, like... Oh, I'll have to take a look. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, I'll add it to my watch list. <laughs> I said that? Four hours later, you're like... I'm not. <laughs> oh, <is> this <laughs> what's it called? I'll put it in no, there right now. No, no. <laughs> Salvatore Gamucci. <laughs> Salvatore Ganacci, is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's like a meme musician. Is it like Step it's, Grandma? Yeah, Step Grandma's. Nick sent it to At least I watched it. I likely <laughs> saw it. <laughs> Nick, they were all like really zany. And I was like, these are crazy. And Daniel was like, LOL, yeah. <laughs> that's how you know he didn't watch it <laughs> he cool. no, no if I responded I watched it but it must have been a long time yeah. ago and I forgot mm -mm. oh had okay more so the, he makes the okay there's one called horse I think that's the one that I've seen okay so are you meeting like him or you're going to a show where he's going to be at I'm, I'm going Bofa. to a show but I also yeah Bofa I, I talked to the manager and they're like yeah we, dude his manager kind of freaked me out it was like a Russian okay so listen 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 I've been messaging him every day because he said he was going to really, because his whole shtick is like he's a foreign guy who doesn't speak. And like he put out a little promo for like his album on CD and I was like, that's funny. But on, on the little description of his video, it was like, oh, email this uh, email address if you want a copy. And I was like, okay, dude. Yes, so I, I sent him a little email and then he got rid of that in his little YouTube bio. And I'm like, what was that? So I waited and nothing came of oh. that. And then he's like, oh, go to this website if you want the CD album. So I went on that website, nothing. It's like a little thing where you could put in your email and that's it. Nothing ever came from that. So I started harassing him every day saying like messaging Watch you every email. day until he dropped the, the CD. <laughs> and I've done it for 50 days. And like, 50. like a week. At, Day yeah, I've done 48. It for 50 something, yeah, no, I've done it for like 50 something days. But like a week and a half in, he started accepting the Instagram requests. So now it just shows like he's reading them. And I'm like, oh, oh, I don't like that. that oh, oh. That's uncomfortable because it will say. What like, do you think was gonna happen? I thought it would just be sitting in it like the message requests. So like, and then he sees he's like, "Oh, that's funny," but like he accepted it. So now like, he, I, they I just could talk to him now. So no I'm wonder like, they want to see you. So you're gonna walk in. He's gonna uppercut you. <laughs> Day forty eight <laughs> messaging you. <laughs> That'll yeah, teach you to so send like, a bunch of shit to my inbox for fifty fucking days, bitch. <laughs> One punch for every message. <laughs> <laughs> I come back the next <laughs> podcast and just pulverized. <laughs> Like, thank you, sir. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. No, so, like, yeah. um, it's this Saturday, and, like, I was beginning to panic because I, I started making a little Funko Pop for him, and, like, oof. Like, very I don't have time. Contrast. Yeah, no, I was freaking out, and I'm like, how do I contact this guy? I looked on his page. I couldn't find, like, a management representative or anything. So I just, I asked him. I asked the source. I'm like, hey please read this. And then I just explained, like, I want to give this to you. I don't know who to email. Can you give me an email? And he sent an email address and a little heart. Nice. Aw. So I looked at, I looked up that website and he it was gave like the email website. to a mob boss. Yeah, no, I looked at the website and like, it doesn't exist. And I was like, oh, oh, that's not oh, good. Right. 
prank. So then I copied and pasted like the email. You tell me, Google. Pussy Master Four Twenty Sixty Nine is it real email Dude, address? That sounds valid. <laughs> No, the but then I copied and pasted address? like the whole email into the Google, the Google. I put it into Google, and all of a sudden it was like, oh, Russian agencies. Kind of, it was like a whole foreign website that oh. I couldn't even access. So I was like, oh, okay. Oh. So I sent them an email, and they were the nicest people. They're like, yo, we'll get you backstage. You can give it to them That's personally. What you think. If you need anything, let us know. Um, we're here for you. Like it was like very like we are totally here for you. Come it, backstage. It, it, it's, it's so bring different. Bring nobody. Like, tell no one. But come backstage dude, anyway. I've had other like uh, managers where they're like, uh, we could try. Um, here's awful. my number. Text me then, and that's it. But this one's like accommodating. Like I'll I'll make sure you get in with management. We'll talk to this. We'll talk to that. And it's like scary. Yeah, you're like, like all right. I'd like to go on tour with you. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> How far can nice I push this? <laughs> So hopefully I like... Take your clothes off. Take them off. <laughs> Want to hear some of my beats? <laughs> so Want to hear the song I made for our podcast? <laughs> Notice how it changes genres four times. Oh, that one, the Patreon one. I was thinking about uh, that the whole theme song we made. Yeah. Well, the theme song you made. Oh. You were basically just like, what do you think about this? And I was like, I, I, okay. I couldn't even begin... <laughs> to describe any part of this because I'm stupid and I can't make music. And you were like, okay, well. Do you remember our first, like, demo that we made for the first episode? <laughs> yes. First demo what? Song? The, the first episode. Like, just period. first demo. Like the Oh, one. yeah. That was, like, the worst audio ever. <laughs> and I was going to actually release it. And you were like, Daniel, no. This is Wait. episode one. <laughs> this is what determines if they continue or not. And you're like, should work. Yeah. I just didn't think people would, when they would like find a podcast, would my head's spinning, would actually go back to episode one. But people do. Like yes. just now, recently is the first time that episode two downloads have been more than 50% of episode one. Just now. Don't go. So I feel like I need to go back <laughs> to episode one. Beginning. <laughs> yeah, which is okay. dumb. And so it's no, like, it's I, I don't know if I need to put a little intro in there to say, like, hey, this is 40 fucking episodes ago. We've gotten a lot better since then, so <laughs> give us a chance. But at the same time, I listened to it and it's still pretty funny. But the first episode is the the first episode is one where we like pull up several YouTube videos, which we haven't done that since then, which for good reason. So I I don't know if people listen I mean, to that. I mean, that's good like, for well, like a YouTube format, but for audio it's like Yeah. I, I understand, yeah. Yeah, but no, well, like even we didn't even have a Good luck with what? Seeing the show. Goodness. Oh, like not being killed okay. by Russians. <laughs> yeah, that. Golly. Oh, yeah, no, right. I was talking and I don't know where you're like. Good luck. luck. You're like, huh? With what? Who? What are you talking about? <laughs> no, because I was explaining uh, something and I don't know where you're like, oh, good luck. And I was like, for what? Huh? <laughs> good luck talking, idiot. Daniel's in on it. He's I'm like, going away. <laughs> yeah, he's emailing me. I'm sending him nice Russian emails back. <laughs> Very funny. Ha ha, I left. We cannot wait to fucking see you. We are not going to pound your head in with baseball bit at God, all. We are not doing that. Daniel, uh, uh, like, uh, trying to kidnap Nick so he'll go to this trip with us. Yeah, no, literally. <laughs> That's actually a really good idea. Why didn't I think of that before? That's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> not if no one finds out. <laughs> we talk about it next podcast. <laughs> <laughs> not if you're tied up. <laughs> John, it's getting worse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Juliana's gonna try to like untie you. I'm gonna have like my my hand on her forehead. She's just like, <laughs> yeah, I'm running in place. Oh my gosh. What's the plan for the uh, huh huh for the for the trip? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like next week. The Daniel, though. so that's a really good <laughs> sign right there. <laughs> I have I have uh, each each day is a different hike, increasing like altitude, so that when we, by the time we get to Rockies, Nick like, is like, oh thank like, God, I'm God. not going. <laughs> I mean, aren't you guys still doing Vegas this year? I'll go. I mean, you gotta tell me a date. Yeah, yeah, if you, but, if yeah I don't plan, have a I'll date go. either. <laughs> I did just spend four hundred dollars opening my locked apartment door, so. There goes a lot of that Transition. money. Transition. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh. I guess we can talk hurt. about that. It's not even entertaining. None of this is funny. I don't know. I feel very What'd you do, today. first of all? All right. So these doors are really fucking goofy. They They're lock. really locked. <laughs> <laughs> they lock really good. That's they all I can really, say. They really stick in there, you know? No. So these doors, the handle doesn't turn. It just locks like it's just always locked. 
So when you walk out, the door is always locked. You can lock the deadbolt at like extra lock, but it's already locked. So there's no point in doing that. So the way you open is the door like is you put the electronic. No, it's like, a physical key. So you put the key in the keyhole and you you turn the key and turning the key unlocks the like the latch and you push it open. So you never even touch the handle of the door, like at least on the outside. If you're opening the door to let someone in, you pull the handle. But mm -hmm. anyway, so whenever you walk out the door, you always have to have your keys or else you won't get back in because that fucking oh, door yes, locks like automatically. House. No, because the door is unlocked. So you get outside <laughs> and then you lock the door and then you leave with the keys. You have the keys. You have to have the keys to lock the door. Is that not how houses work? <laughs> Fuck you, shut up. <laughs> Tell, That's how such is... a good response. <laughs> no, it's not, it's inaccurate. Well, said you're like, you have to have keys to get back in the house when you leave, so, and I was like. <laughs> no, oh. I said you have to have keys when you walk out because you will not get back in. Yes. No matter what. Yes. No, yes. because a regular house, you can walk out the door <laughs> if it's unlocked and you don't have to have the fucking keys, right? I don't know, man. Sounds like okay. a I'm looking for me. a response. <laughs> You're gonna make fun know. of me for to, door I rules. I have to use keys to get into my house. <laughs> my, <laughs> my house is haunted and full of wasps. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You don't know anything about a real house. <laughs> I'd rather have no doors on my house than live in your fucking house. I don't know. At least all the houses I grew up in, if you just walked out the door, nothing would happen unless you actually locked it with the keys. So you didn't have to be like afraid to walk out without your keys. This one you do. Like if it it doesn't matter. Like it's just always 100% locked all the time. And somehow I've been here for over a year, never forgot my keys, which I'm surprised that hasn't happened yet. And this time like I walked out, patted my pocket, door shut. And I was like, "Well, don't have them in there." And they are literally 2 feet from the inside of the door. So I was not happy. So the first thing I do is I pull out my um, door hanger. opening uh, key cards. <laughs> Which I, yeah, I pull out my coat hanger that I keep before my keys. I bring that out before my keys. Was it out of your inventory? Yeah, like... no, it's in your in your shoulder. You just pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing like this. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> this makes it much easier to put away. It's like that vine about the clothing hanger. It's like <laughs> it's just in the back of my packet. It's the back of my packet. So yeah, the door shuts, <laughs> and I immediately snap you guys because I was like. Uh, <laughs> I was going out. I, I was so in pain by that point physically, like just of all the shit I'm going through right now. And I worked myself up. I took a steroid. I was like, I'm going to the fucking arcade. I'm sorry. Are we going to gloss by the fact that you said you took a steroid? There's plenty of steroid pills that they have you take like to get like when you get on out sicko of mode. Oh, uh oh, oh. <laughs> notice why I'm so buff. <laughs> yeah, you, like, what? you notice this? Those kinds of steroids. Uh, yeah, I'm not natty anymore. I, uh, I've been- I'm not naturally skinny now. Now I'm on steroids and still skinny. <laughs> it's like before, but now my dick is smaller. <laughs> or my balls, I... I guess. I don't know. I don't do steroids. Uh, get locked out of the door. The first thing I do is I pull out the two, voice. like, old, like, credit cards I have to open, like, doors. Because that normally works. Um, but these doors are- holy shit. I- I think they built these to keep people in. Because, so there, the lip of the door covers over, like you can't look at the lock straight on. There's like a lip over it. So you have to come in it for, at it from an angle. You have to what? There's two separate locks and one of them's like a trick backwards lock that keeps the door always locked all the fucking time. So I was trying for like a half hour with my key cards to get this fucking thing open, just jamming it. And it's squeaking because it's it, it can't go in straight on. So it's curved. It's so it's just squeaking it. against the paint. So whoever I, was in the hall, no one was in the hallway when I was there, but it was just like, <laughs> like it's just squeaking. Just me like, <laughs> like just trying to get this thing open. And Nick was like, stop using keys. Yeah, because you're like, no, you, you sent like a card and then it was all bent. And then you're like, I used another <laughs> card and it was all like bent. I I'm used like, my debit stop. card. Yeah, no, one was like your your AMC rewards or something, and what was the no, 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 no. They were old cards that don't get used anymore. Like I've had them in a oh, wallet I specifically. Were, I thought they no, were like, I'm not that dumb. I'm not that dumb. Uh, like, I'm not they were. Stop. Wait, to why save myself carry? from paying three hundred dollars, I will ruin my entire bank account access. <laughs> no, I'm not that dumb. I like how you think I'm not dumb. That's cute. <laughs> But no, they are cards I have in my wallet that are old, that are inactive, that I use to open doors. 
I thought so they were already fury. You were like, ah, debit card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm not going to the library anymore. <laughs> I thought he was panicking and was just like, oh, you so know, you actually you thought, thought I was just like, I can't yeah. buy anything now. <laughs> like last resort. And I'm like, stop. <laughs> no, that's not what I was doing. Oh my gosh. No wonder you tell me to stop. I was like, so work. what, dude? I was concerned after I got Nick's message. I was like, oh, should, should I stop? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, <laughs> was, I was like, it I don't like know. a gift card and like another thing? No, like one was a Sonic gift card that had 68 cents left on it. Exactly, but I thought like it was 68 new. cents. I didn't no, know. It was... I didn't check the balance. I was like, oh I'm my not God, gonna go to Sonic and have to spend cash <laughs> if I can't buy I thought, anything like, with you're it. Like, oh well, I'm not gonna go to Sonic anytime soon. <laughs> no, no. One of them was a movie. One of them was a movie pass card. Movie pass went out in like 2017, and one of them was a Sonic yeah, gift card that was nice. basically old. So I ruined both those. Just shredded those fucking cards. Holy shit! The metal, the the metal letters that they like punch into it are flattened. You know, I got one of, I got that one lock. I just could not, for the life of me, remember what the bottom lock looked like. So I was coming at it the wrong way, and I couldn't get it. So I finally had to buckle down, and I was like, "This is a great apartment place." But I realized men they like, feel looking for the clitoris. From experience, I can tell you, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I felt like. <laughs> Clippers is real. actually a myth. They don't have one. <laughs> it's a myth portrayed by the left. <laughs> uh, hypothetically, let's just say uh, uh, you did have a uh, uh, clitoris, um, which they don't have. Um, and it's, if they do, it's um, it's, it's dry. It's dry it's as sandalwood. It's obviously just a small penis. It's as dry as a lip filler that they stick in my big booty lips. Very dry. No, my lips are wet. They're wet. Wet for you. What is with his lips? Have you seen those? Holy honkers. Those are just his caterpillars. Lip, lip filler. <laughs> it's migrating like way down already. It's like he's creating a Chad chin, but with his fucking lip. It's like his yeah, lip is like a dimple. It's like migrating downwards. And like even oh, a no. surgeon was like, yo, he's got like And he's like, and he's like tanner. Like the clip I saw of him, he was like five shades tanner <laughs> with giant ass lip. Like, there's Why nothing different about me, mode? hypothetically. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think not. Holy shit. It's like, I got to be an influencer. Daddy's little girl. <laughs> like, his face is so big. It's just like oozing like filler out of his face. Everyone's like, Ben, you, you got to stop. No, it's like, just a myth. It's just a myth perpetrated by the left. It's an unflattering angle. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> he turns to the camera. It's even worse. He's just. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah. He looks like a bit like. Looks like this. This is actually his lip. Yeah. <laughs> just hanging way down. Lip. Just, <laughs> hypothetically, the left is... <laughs> Whoa, Ben. Oh, I see right. I see it in the photo now. Yeah, I'm used to seeing <laughs> like paper-thin lips. Like just... Juliana is our, our Jamie from Joe Rogan. <laughs> pull it up. Lively, Why don't pull you pull it up. it up a little bit? Lively, pull up Nutscapes. <laughs> That's not even the picture I was seeing, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a that. ball sack on the bottom. Like, yeah. this is how I'm used to his lips looking. And yeah, then it's like it... ball sack mouth. Yep. His lips are getting, you know, like when you, you know, like when that was, wasn't there a trend where people were like inverse sucking their lips into like the bottles? The Kylie challenge. Yeah. He's doing that, but with his sister's boobs. <laughs> <laughs> He's just been sucking oh. on him so hard. His lips are like inverted now. Oh my god, I see where he's tan in this one. Look at the contour on yeah, him. Yeah, look at that. Holy hey, shit. Ew. You can tell because his lips are the different shade than his face. Oh also, his, look at his that face shit. is a different shade than his neck. He's ben like orange Man. and then his neck is like... God. He's hiding though. Yeah. He's hiding those hidden Trump votes in his lip. My oh, gosh! Geez. Geez. Holy shit! Damn! Oh, Damn! Man. I just want Trump to come out of the woodworks and be like, "Holy shit, Ben! That looks <laughs> fucking nasty. <laughs> Your lips look disgusting." <laughs> Him. Like him as orange and as disgusting as he yeah, looks. He's like, I would rather die than look at your lips again. Quite literally the worst lips I've ever seen in all of America. Yeah, okay. Poor well, lips, the poorest lips. I mean, some of our best videos are roasting Ben, so if you got any more, kick it out now. <laughs> views, 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 views. Yeah, keep them going. Ben Shapiro, more like uh, Ben should appear at my sister's tits. I don't know. I got nothing. <laughs> Ew. This is why I... <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> I hope people had that reaction yes. when he walked into work one day with those lips. Someone's just like, 
Ew. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yucky. <laughs> uh. Kev- Kevin Hart's Kevin Hart's little like damn. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I love that. Dude, video. that video is so funny because he keeps a straight face the whole time. He's just like, damn. Sorry about that. <laughs> and Don Cheadle's like actually upset. He's like, uh, that's 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 actually uh, not what you what not what you meant by that. <laughs> and Kevin like keeps going with the joke. Kevin's like, no, I said, damn. <laughs> he just keeps going quiet. <laughs> Glad we can talk about other people that are funny. <laughs> meanwhile, I've got exactly Jack shit. Back to poop. <laughs> like, meanwhile, I'm so depressed. You want to hear about my door? Let's continue. <laughs> yeah, throw the door. So, Wait, so what's I the reason? Was, you just weren't paying attention and that's why you got left Any other, or... like, well, I just feel like it's a pretty common thing to have, like, a lockout policy, you know? But I was, like, having a hard time finding it. I was get, I was kind of panicking because it was, like, yeah, 9 p.m. at night. Do. Yeah. Was it was just like, after oh, their, their window or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. But so, anyway, uh-huh. I found... Their, like, phone number, which was different than the phone number they have on Google, that had a different voicemail. And the voicemail was like, there is, you know, if you have, if you get locked out, you have to call a locksmith or get the front desk person and he'll do it for 200 bucks. And I was like, holy damn, 200 bucks. Little did I know. Anyway, so I went downstairs to see if the, the guard was there. And I don't know their hours, like, because some days they're not in. But he wasn't there. And so then I was like, well, fuck, I'm going to have to call a locksmith. I, like, Googled, you know, locksmith St. Louis this one place came up. I'm pretty sure I, I got like Damn. faked out. I'm pretty sure they're a fake. Yeah. I mean, because I started looking at the reviews later, they are all five star reviews and they're all like, there are several per day that span that over like the last like two weeks. Ones. And it's like, wow, none of so them good. have profile pictures good. and they're like, John, what a guy he did. Fan, like just ways that people don't talk. Did very good, good work. <laughs> when they were like, they were when they kept work, naming the, the place, work, the goodest of all good work. <laughs> they kept naming the place specifically. They were like, I forget yeah. what these places called, but they were like, Keys, this Keystone Lock place really be unjamming my door and very affordable, you know. And I was like, I oh, them. I got scammed. I got scammed. <laughs> I felt so stupid. I've never had to fucking call a locksmith before. I mean, they were very when I called them, they were very quick. Um, probably because he was in his van around the corner, like, hey, just I waiting. Room. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let me finish coming, and then I'll be right there. <laughs> what? He pulls out his fu- he gets to my door. He pulls out his fully erect penis and starts coming into my lock. Once it hardens, I can see what the lock looks like from the inside, and I Mine's can make my own key. <laughs> <laughs> Just burns, burns right through, through the, the fucking door. <laughs> Not even a hole, like it drips down through the door frame, so it's just cutting the door in half. It's like, well, I got you in, didn't I? Six thousand dollars. Six thousand dollars. I'm like, well, I've just buzzed all my debit cards. <laughs> this sounds like a show. fucking Seinfeld sketch. Uh, Kramer, you can't come in the door handle. Kramer. Jerry. Kramer, uh, get your dick out of my door lock. <laughs> okay well anyway so the door guard wasn't there so i had to call the locksmith people so he came in and it took him like 20 minutes 30 minutes he got there we go upstairs um he was like kind of russian and i was like oh, i don't know about that you're like as in he was trying to go quickly <laughs> <laughs> what'd you say <laughs> sorry so i missed good. the well, it was just like, it was like a 30 year old, like a Russian bodybuilder, but he had a tool case and he was like, yes, door, you have locked the door. Show me which way to door. And I was like, I, I got fucking scared. Do you have valuables? Do you, home? do you have jewelry beyond the door? I am only asking for no, safety. No, I don't want my city to come to get over the jewelry. Do you have gun? <laughs> do you have weapon on you? That is good. That is good. <laughs> <laughs> was that a gun? <laughs> I'm going to shoot the door open. Holy! Slamming <laughs> like the door handle with a wrench. He's just like, he's, this, is how, he's, this is how you do it. That's a Seinfeld episode where you call a locksmith and he's the only locksmith that could open your door, but he's just shouting like anti Ukraine propaganda the whole time he's doing it. You're like, well, mm, I need to get my he door open. It's a good bargain. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, 75 bucks. <laughs> He's like, he's like, it is, it is four thousand dollars unless you say to my face with camera you hate Ukraine. Then it's thirty dollars, and I'm like, thirty dollars, huh? (laughs) 
<laughs> and I have to make eye contact with the camera. <laughs> Can I like blur my face? No, no, full face, full face, everything. You have to Posting twenty dollars. Full frontal. Twenty dollar. <laughs> Wait, you're going down? Yeah, $10 if you say you hate Ukraine like baby. They are like baby. Never win war. Uh, yeah, $10. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> All right. Literally just breaks uh, any, the door any. off the hinges and he's like, you're in. <laughs> He just takes one kick and kicks all my fucking hinges in. It's like, okay, hinges are backwards. You are inside. Grabs me by the fucking collar, picks me up. Give me all of money. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, uh, we get up there. He uses those, um, you know those things they wrap around your arm at the doctor to check your blood pressure? That's what he had. And I was like, oh. Like a Velcro Check the door's blood strap? pressure. <laughs> This guy just oh. mugged a doctor. He's like, yeah, this is locksmith case. Definitely. This is Are you making it up? We're going to listen to door. <laughs> door is dead. <laughs> we'll get in somehow. <laughs> huh? No, but so he like had a, those things. And he wedges them. A stethoscope up to it. And then he's like, I'll, I'll whip out one of those hospital looking things to make it seem like I'm listening for the lock. Right. right. <laughs> And he just whips out the <laughs> blood pressure test. <laughs> he pulls out like a That's plastic cap that looks like the tick marks on a safe and he puts it up against my door and just starts turning it. I'm like, it's not oh. connected to anything. Shh. Shh. I am listening for the lock on door. <laughs> he starts making the sounds himself. He's like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> lock number one. You want two more? Ten dollar more. <laughs> okay, buddy. What the hell? <laughs> I'm the professional here. I'm the professional. <laughs> I know what anyway, I'm Anyway, so he has the fucking blood pressure things. He wedges him in the crack of the door and... I'm not joking about this. He has the fucking pump up thing. Pumping the door up to, I guess, widen the crack. He's just... He's using the jaws of life from the fire department. Just You're sharing <laughs> Wedging my door right open. Now. Yeah, yeah. Literally. He's like, stop, stop. <laughs> Doctors won't dum, give dum, me dum, any dum, more dum. blood things. <laughs> they knock door? on the door and then... Uh, they knock on the door and you just hear, Housekeeping. Definitely. And then you hear <laughs> Yeah, he's just getting it. <laughs> I'll get that I'll get this motherfucker for the fucking <laughs> I know your address. <laughs> and then you hear like a slow <laughs> let out of air. You are fifty-eight over twenty. <laughs> Whatever blood pressure numbers are. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> I don't know what blood pressure is. I always they take it from me all the time. I'm like, is that good? And they're like yeah. <laughs> they shrug. I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking work here. I am Dora Luckman. Anyway, so he puts Duh, the that's fucking. the janitor. <laughs> the one that gave Lively those fucking like almond seeds to eat. The yeah, pits, eat them. The I, I don't work here. Yeah, the pits. Yep. My gosh. There's a pecan in my almond joy. Pecan. I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> anyway. Guy walks in with so, a cup piss in this. <laughs> And then he leaves and you're like, what, what was that for? And the doctor's like, Wait, I thought you were going to lock. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> then after he leaves, the actual lock guy comes in. All right, I'm here to unlock your door. He's like, I'm wait, here. didn't you just, didn't you just take a cup of my piss? What was the pee for? No. Why, why would I? <laughs> What's the pee for? <laughs> He's like. <laughs> <laughs> I see the guy. I. I look like past the lot guy. I can see the guy that grabbed my cup of pee, like Just running shocking. out the door. <laughs> gunk, 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 gunk. Mm -hmm. He's doing that Russian dance, you know, like. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, what does it? Anyway, so he's pumping up the door with the fucking blood pressure thing. <laughs> and then he pulls out a crowbar. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, so because the lip comes over the lock, he can't see what type of lock it is. And so he asked me, he's like, do you remember, like, what kind of, like, lock it is? So he's just having exactly like, the same problem you did? Yeah, and I was like, I don't know what my fucking lock looks like. And he's like, you don't know what your fucking lock looks like? Anyway, so I felt stupid. Anyway, so there's a guy that's walking back to his house. He kind of looks at me kind of, you know, he's kind of scared because there's a giant Russian dude with a crowbar and arm pressure bands stuck in my door. And I was like, hey, man, can we Normal. see your lock when you go inside your apartment? Because I yeah. just want to show Ace him like, the what the lock looks like. Definitely not. And behind me, the guy is like with a gun. He's like, 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah, 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 sure, sure. I'll show, I'll show you my lock. <laughs> don't, don't hurt me. I'm like, huh? <laughs> so he shows us the lock. <clears throat> and, the, and the Russian guy's like, okay, I get it now. And before he walks away and, like, we're all going back to our place, he's like, hold on. And I'm like, huh? And he's like, let me see Locke again. And then he shows, and he, then he starts talking to me. He starts lecturing me because he thinks I'm like a little child. He's like, this lock here is the deadbolt. You didn't fucking do that one. And I was like, I, I told you I didn't do the deadbolt. And he's like, yes, that is this one. This one is not the deadbolt. This one is the door latch. And I was like, okay, man, I get it. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. But, be, but like right, right before that guy came, I'm, I'm skipping the story. But right before that dude came back so we could see his lock, he couldn't – he spent like 10 minutes with this thing trying to get it. Also locked. And he, and he couldn't – he couldn't get my door. <laughs> no, he so he couldn't get my door and he was like – and he was like, I'm going to have to drill door down. He's like, it's going to cost more. And I was like, ah. And then right – I was like, oh, no. And then the guy walked by and I was like, okay, let's take a look at his oh, lock. thank God. So he takes a look at the lock and the guy's like, I think that man just saved your door. I know what lock looked like now. It is no time now. And so – Starts going at it again. It's another like 15 minutes. I'm getting nervous because each time he's he's big guy and he's putting his full fucking weight into it. If he's listening Dorn to this, I've completely exaggerated his accent. But anywho, so he and then finally like he gets it open, but it's like the most violent. It's like, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you know, You're like that sounded just, like it was supposed to do that. Yes, thank you. Pieces are falling yeah. on the floor. So what I what I found out is like no one can break in ever. That's never going to fucking happen. There's just no way. Oh, and that was the other thing too because I thought he was going to come. Now? I thought he was going to. I'm doing this whole story backwards. I thought he was going to come and just pick the lock because that's like the work. easiest thing. And he got there. He, he pulls out his phone, takes a picture of the lock, and I was like. So what are we doing? He's like, I'm sending picture to my boss to see if we can pick it. And I was like, I'm sending your address. But he's not here. <laughs> yeah. Sending my address to the boys. <clears throat> um, we come back alone. Thursday night. We come back Friday night back. for beer. You have uh, beer or yeah, have we... vodka? You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, what times do you work at again? <laughs> <laughs> when is the home alone? <laughs> he's like shaving off his little like cum key that he just made. <laughs> and what time are you gone? You don't come back during those hours, you say. That is fantastic. That's, that's very good. I mean, and you don't have any weapons in the house. <laughs> How much do you weigh? You look skinny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be a piece of cake. I'm like, huh? So, yeah. Like, I use anyway. a broom as a lightsaber. <laughs> so he, uh, so he, he couldn't pick. <laughs> so he got the picture back from his boss and he was like, okay, can't pick the lock. I, I was like, wait, why? Like that one. I was like, shut up. I was like, why can't we pick the lock? And he was like, I said, picture to boss. It is secret unbreakable lock. We can't do it. And I was like, Huh? Secret, unbreakable, never before seen lock. <laughs> I felt like I Joe Biden like watching this. anyone do any task for him. I'm just standing behind him, like, oh, I'm oh. focused. <laughs> and this I guy's like jamming the fucking door down. <laughs> I'm gonna scream. <laughs> I'm gonna shit my pants. Like Cho- I just look choco chocolate chip. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe, yeah, what are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't someone like ask hair. him about like some kind of policy, and he was like, chocolate, chocolate chip, and we're like. <laughs> What is Buddy talking about? <laughs> to quote Nick from last episode, <laughs> which is probably a meme. I don't know. Anywho, it's literally so he finally gets this household, dude. <laughs> they couldn't quote. Um, they couldn't quote me for it until they got there to see it because I was like, "How much is this going to cost?" And they were like, "Well, we don't know until we see the lock." And like, "Do we? Or we're, we don't know if we're going to have to drill it or whatever." And I was like, "Yeah, but can you give me a range?" And they were like, "No." <laughs> so. He gets, he gets <laughs> done. He gets done, and he was like, "That'll be three hundred and fifty dollars." And I was like, "Oh, oh!" And then I tipped him twenty percent because I'm a fucking stupid. I guess I don't know <laughs> morals. <was> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I can't tip below twenty percent. Um, so, but um, also like. The service was him. <laughs> so, I like, know. That's why I don't know. That's why I hate that everything asks for a tip now, even for nothing, true. because I'm like, well, I guess I should tip now. For me he, he doing got my paid own the food, three fifty. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
I, that's what I didn't know. I didn't know if it was like because he worked for a company. It wasn't just him, so I didn't know how much the company like probably takes thing. like a hundred, and then he gets the rest. There's an option to do like custom tips a lot of the time. You know, you don't have to just click the set ones. Yeah. No, he full on was just like, and uh, here's the tip. Uh, you know, you don't have to tip a whole lot because I know the bills a lot, and I was like, oh 20%, no, I guess. And he was like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I was like, I feel like I just got no. chipped. Yeah, so I ended up spending like almost $400 to get that door open. Then we go back downstairs. Well, first of all, this dude gets fucking lost. So like I, I say goodbye to him at the door. I that need I realize I realize I need to go back down. Out again. <laughs> I realize I need to go downstairs to grab a package <laughs> and I see him like wandering the fucking halls and I'm just standing there like watching him for a bit cuz I was like no, he's I, casing the I can watch him struggle. Yeah, he's casing the joint. So he finally finds the staircase cuz he couldn't find the fucking elevator. So he's going down the stairs and he's standing in the stairwell like doesn't know how to fucking get out. He's about ready to take his air, like his blood pressure thing and break out a fucking window. Yep. Let's <laughs> I go. can't listen for this. He has a stethoscope. I Guys, cannot I have hear someone three. to rub. <laughs> Please, I have someone's house to rub at nine. I have to get out of here. Uh, so I like found him in the stairwell. I was like, hey, you need some help getting out? And he was like, yes, I was very sweaty. And I was like, you went down one floor, buddy. He's very good at getting into things, but very bad at getting out. This is where me, the physically weak dumbass, started roasting him because he was like big. I was like, oh, you're fucking tired. <laughs> wow. Yikes. <laughs> Ever work out? <laughs> and then he beat the shit out of me. Um, yeah. And then, but guess what? We, we got back down to the lobby. Guess who was there? Now after the an hour and a half. The, the door guard. guard. Yeah. And I asked him on the way up because I was Why like. Why was that motherfucker not there at nine o'clock? Don't a lot of people exactly. be at nine o'clock? Let the man be. <laughs> For an hour and a half? Yeah. Yeah. So I asked him, like, so jokingly, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not asking like a Karen. I'm like, where were you? I was just like, oh man, like, cause I saw him. I was like, shit. And so I was like, I asked him, I was like, hey, I'm just curious, like, when did your hour start? Like, when did you get here? Did you just get here? And he was like, I just, I just went to the bathroom. Like, like I'm somehow like the inspector of the building or some shit. You know, it's like he must have been out somewhere and shouldn't have been, or I don't know, cause he was like, Probably. oh, I was just peeing for an hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, was pissing. <laughs> <laughs> Hour long piss sesh. <laughs> Bathroom is flooded. <laughs> oh, he's drip drying. Ew. He's like, okay, I've got to piss, then I've got to come, then I've got to wipe the cum post cum, <laughs> then I've got to pee again. Takes a while. <laughs> like, huh? It's a process, kid. Exactly. It's a process. He's just out doing it on the street. He's not even in the bathroom. <laughs> I respect hey, man. the building. <laughs> Mark in my territory. This is my building. No one else got, comes here but me. <laughs> I knew this girl who had to clean like the local Panera bathroom because she went there. Come and and every day there would be cum on the mirror, and she was like, "I swear to God." Every day. Every day, and she was like, "I swear to God, if it happens, Homie one just more time, loves Panera. <laughs> Homie just really loves that flatbread does. two for two. God, I love yeah. bread bowls." <laughs> God, I love. Bread. Oh, I love 500 calorie bagels. <laughs> oh yes, sir. <laughs> I Arms. love bread that's the size of my face. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Goes in the bathroom. Yeah. Every day. It was like. Every day. It was like it wouldn't. It didn't happen for a long time while she was working there, and then there was like a 13 day streak of it happening. <laughs> like every shift she had, 13 shifts in a row. And Don't she laugh like, like that, Nick. She's <laughs> you laugh like you did it. You were like, <laughs> whoa. I got her. I next got time her. I, next time I'm trying for 14. <laughs> She's like, yeah, after 13 day streak. And you're like, actually, I think it was 15. Yeah. <laughs> if you check today, text her to check today. Yeah, I was going to say, she she didn't work every single day. It just happened to be 13 shifts in a row. And it was she only was the like, day she worked. Suspicious? I don't know. I think yeah. so. Did anyone she, suspect it, anyone or... Uh, there, there's like a couple junkies in uh, the general huh. area, mm. and yeah, they tend to use the bathrooms at Safeway and overdose there quite a bit. But I, I don't know who was the coomer, but they, <laughs> the manager, <laughs> he walks, he walks in the day, he walks in for the day at like four a.m. Everything's sparkling clean. Just well, gonna go gonna come, come on my come. window now. <laughs> <laughs> Time to spray. <laughs> To come. He's the only one in that that worker that she's talking about. Her friend, she's the, like the second one in the morning. She comes in every morning. First thing she goes into the bathroom. There's already come on. She's like, she's like there's come there. Wonder who did that? And he's like, oh, I don't know. 
Someone must, must have, have broke hobos. in. <laughs> mm, someone must have just come in and. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, anyway, she was literally it. like, "I'm so disgusted having to dr- like clean up this dripping cum every isn't day." That like, and, isn't that and like a was, biohazard type of situation? Yeah, yeah. She was like begging some of someone? the male staff to go in there. Like she was begging like, oh. all of the customers in the place. Stop, <laughs> stop coming the on the windows, God. please. <laughs> yeah, no. She she was like begging the dude. She was like, "I'll clean the women's bathroom every day." But, like, please stop making me clean the men's. And she, like, Snapchatted this group chat and was like, I swear if I have to clean cum, I am going to drop the mop and just quit right then and there. It was really splattered. It was, yeah, and we were like, Thank you oh, that's... you for describing that. Yeah. I could have imagined they were like, that, that is honestly, disgusting. probably without seeing that. Yep. Well, <clears throat> Lively, you said at some point during the week that security carried you out of a bar at some point. Have you told that story <laughs> oh, before? Because I don't remember what? you telling that story. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yes. That was when I was in Capitol Hill. That's where the streets are literally painted gay. I I showed you guys, right? Like, I'm not joking. Were you saying slurs again? (laughs) (laughs) Literally everything. Get out of here. (laughs) (laughs) Those gay streets. Whoa, whoa, Lively. We're going to have to ask you to hit the pause on that. Just rainbows. The crosswalks are rainbows. Most of the buildings painted with rainbows on them, right? I love that area because there's so many like vegan gay. restaurants. But <laughs> shit I love so that area because there's so much gay. Sorry. There's so much gay. It's so expensive though, man. It's where all the hipsters and like tech uh, gay people. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> so they <laughs> they got shmoney. There's a lot of young people in the area. It's hip, right? Yup. Shmood. And there's this bar that's <laughs> Sorry. like. I, I don't do know. That it's once. like circus <laughs> themed ish. It's really cool. Uh, me and my friends were like, "Yeah, we're gonna go clubbing on a Wednesday night. What a good idea!" Oh no! <laughs> this group of people, <laughs> the four of us, gay people in this group. So we're like, "We're gonna go to the Unicorn. That's it's a very gay bar. We go in there. Really? It's literally, it's Imagine. completely empty. Completely empty. <laughs> it's only us." You're the only gay people in Seattle. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Whoa. <laughs> Seattle would lose like 80% of its population if that Stop. happened. <laughs> Where'd they go? <laughs> go you walk on. outside, it's like the zombie apocalypse. It's just old white men being like, oh, finally. You're like, well, hey, hey, dude. What, what? what the fuck are you talking about? Huh? <laughs> huh? Yeah. It's just that old dude in the theater that I was in for Knock at the Cabin. <laughs> <Huh>. Oh, brother. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, brother. Anywho. Yeah, um, before we left, we were like, we're going to pregame. Me and my friend drank, I, I don't know, the two girls. Good for uh, you. The two, yeah, a, a dis- it was like a disgusting amount. What, do you the, want a medal? To, no, no. It was, it, it ended very poorly for me. So oh, no. <laughs> it was like, uh, my two friends, like, Heidi and Ariana drank like one, two shots before we left. They're like, that's good. We're going to, we're going to call an Uber now. And then me and my other friend, it was like right before the pandemic. So yeah, we were like, so a long time ago. Yeah. A long time ago now. Yeah. So me and my friend, we were like going back and forth having shots and he's a really tall, muscular guy. And I was like, yeah, we're going to, we're going to go back. We're going to do shots back to back. And it was like, we had like nine shots of this really disgusting oh my gosh, $5 dude. vodka. My friend Heidi, she like grows a lot of things. So she grows lavender and then she was making some essence out of it by like lavender. having it soak in in the vodka, right? And and so uh, we were like, oh, are you going to use any more of this vodka? And she's like, hell no, it's disgusting. And so <laughs> uh, we drank a lot of it. Uh, we get in the Uber. We're like, first stop unicorn bar this one's gonna be like the craziest one of the night and so that it's was empty. pre-game yeah it was pre-game so the nine shots of disgusting piss vodka was pre-game <laughs> yep. oh my yep. goodness. pre-game for yes, the sir. empty gay bar fantastic <laughs> yes sir yeah and then my friend uh heidi was like she just got hired for a new job and she was about to move to utah moab area and was like i'm gonna buy everybody drinks yeah and we were like yeah 
Woo! And I decided to get this drink that was fizzy, but also had cream. And guess what happened to my stomach? A really bad reaction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really, really not good. Um, yeah, I was sitting there for a while and was like, I can't hold in this vomit anymore, guys. I'm going to have to go to the bathroom. And they're like, what? Did You've you say it that casually? Yeah. You yeah, were like, like, well, I'm about to projectile vomit everywhere. Hey, guys. Yes. See you later. Ruin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, guys. It's literally rolling up the off. Right? I, I yeah. got to get out of here. It, yeah. The, the cream and fizzy combination, I felt it just boiling in my stomach, essentially. Oh, I was like, okay. all right. Well. I feel right. the devil in me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm, exorcism? Yeah, I walked right into the bathroom and immediately was just vomiting for like Lively. 15 minutes. Like In the toilet? Yeah, in the toilet, yes. In someone's okay. lap. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I mean, like, the place and the was only empty. one other person there is lap. <laughs> one gay dude was like, I mean, I'll go I'll go around here. No one's, no one's going to be there at this point in time. I'm going to take a piss real quick. Sin- the only person in, in the bar <laughs> just 15 was minutes a dude. of vomit. <laughs> and, he, and he was like, uh, he was like, hey, uh, I'm going to be going into my service for the military tomorrow, like talking about oh, it no. to us. And we're like, oh, cool. And he was like clearly trying to hit on my guy friend. But like my friend wasn't into it. And also like the military guy was like, yeah, like. Like, I didn't know this was a gay bar. Wow, what, what, what's the likelihood of that happening? Maybe I get into a series of events that lead into of a dicks. gay... Oh. Yeah, exactly, that lead into a homosexual experience for the night before I go to the military and never have thoughts like that again. Yeah, that'd be crazy. No, he, he didn't talk <laughs> like that. But it was, like, ve- it was very <laughs> obvious. He was kind of, like, implying that. Right. And we were like... Mm. Put your balls on my chin. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Huh? I said, more piss vodka, please. <laughs> Yeah, okay, the drink, about. <laughs> the drink did uh, taste very good. It I hope, tasted let's like just say, Skittles. Let's just say wherever he is, I hope he's okay because um, they're still not treating gays well in the military at all. Yes. And they're shocker. still discharging them. Yeah, I'm shocker. Sure they didn't get out of that just, thinking in five years or whatever. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that guy was Damn. just like heavily in the closet. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. Uh, heavily uh, yeah, in the closet, I, yet the only one at a gay bar. Yes, huh? exactly. This is like... What? Yeah, yeah, he was. You the, got nice hands. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the second we walked in, he like approached my friend, and we were like, hmm. "All right, very." You <laughs> got a nice bulge man. down there. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> man on a mission. <laughs> Hurrah, though! <laughs> I wouldn't touch him right. if you let me. <laughs> <laughs> in- inhaling only, just <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Yeah, and then yeah, there's me um, literally throwing up and then uh, <laughs> having to shit like crazy. <laughs> I actually just started shitting for a full hour. And, and here we are. <laughs> and the, um, you know, my friends kept knocking on the door and they're like, so the place is closing in 10 minutes? And I'm like holding in my vomit and like, you know, out the other end so that Girl. they can't hear it. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm, ew, I'm, not, I'm, ew, I'm not good. Ew. I'm not good right now. I'm going to need a few more minutes, right? And then, like, as soon as they close the door, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm <laughs> dying. Yeah, dying. And then, eventually, security comes in. It's this guy knocking on the door, and he opens it a crack, and he's like, so, like, we closed 10 minutes ago. Like, We're you're throwing gonna your ass out. Yeah, like, he's like, you're going to have to leave. And I'm just, like, vomiting. And I'm like, Ugh. and I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I... <laughs> Lively. Okay. <laughs> and just like wash my hands, and I'm like, I'm so weak. Like everything I ate, everything She's just I drank washing her for hands the day in the vomit. is gone. And like, I'm just like diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know where I am. I'm just dunking my hands in the toilet on accident. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like. Oh. And she's and just I'm slapping like, the floor with her freshly <laughs> lathered few <laughs> cans. They're like, yeah. we're throwing this bitch out. <laughs> Basically, I was just focusing so hard on not vomiting. Like, I looked at myself in the mirror. My face was, like, literally gray. My bags went down to, like, my mouth. And I was like, oh, no. Ew. Like, I was like, How? I, I do not look. I, your yeah. eyelids? You mean your eyelids went down your fucking nope, cheek? the bags were like. Yeah, I was like, I'm not looking too too good right now. You're and telling so, yeah. me I gotta go. <laughs> And, and like, I come out there. Touch and me, I dare you. 
<laughs> I'll poop on you. Like, I don't know. If, uh, I'm so kicker. like I'm so sick feeling like I'm just focusing on not not barfing and I'm holding myself against the wall trying to breathe normally and my friends are just sitting at the table staring at me and they're like, "You good, bud?" And I'm like, "Nope." Nope. No, and then, actually. Uh, so the bar is on the bottom, like basement area, and you have to mm. walk up a really steep set of stairs. That's uh, a lot of stairs. And I was like, why would they do this to drunk people? Why? Why <laughs> did they think this was a good idea? Yeah. And Comic so then. Relief. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So then I get to the stairs, and I'm like, oh, uh-huh. I take. I take one step and like the vertigo gets really bad from that added like elevation. I'm like, oh uh. shit, oh shit. And like, I'm like falling over and the security guard's like, well, and he just like lifts me and like fireman carries me like, and then he's like, all right, there's your Uber. And he takes me to the Uber and my friends are like, don't fucking throw up. And the Uber's like, don't fucking throw up. And the whole time I'm just sitting there like, don't throw up, don't throw up, don't throw up, don't throw up. And then the second You're we get You're making out of the me car, sick actually listening to this. I gotta be yeah, honest. Yeah, the second we get out of the car, I'm like, Aah! and my friends are like, good job, you made it. And then I fell asleep in, in my dress. Well, I'm glad I asked about that story. I really wish I had never asked about that story. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't from me having a fun, fun night. It was me just like literally vomiting and shitting. The cool, cool, cool. Time my okay, topics. What else do we have? <laughs> um... Uh, speaking of simp magnets, uh, at Comic Con, they had a maid cafe. <laughs> they had a they maid had, cafe. They had a maid cafe, and it is exactly what you imagine. It is the girls in the really short little maid outfits. Yeah, that isn't. Mm, mm, yeah, right, well. and so like the first day, me and my brother were there, and it was a Thursday, and like we saw it wasn't super busy in there, and we're like, we're not gonna go in there. That is actually <laughs> ridiculous. That, but like, we yeah, were like, it's just like you go back in a time travel thing. It's like a diner yep. from the fucking forties. No. Oh no, nope. Daniel. Nope. No, no. Please Google. Please Google oh, anime have... girl cat girl maids. <sighs> Anime cat girl maids. <laughs> do I really want to do you, this? Is it going to be some fourteen-year-old bullshit? I hate that this is now in my incognito. So yeah. It's so yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a maid in a maid outfit. That looks normal but with to cat you? ears. Is that not? I mean, like obviously it's exaggerated, but that is the maid outfit. Yes. So this looks normal to you, Daniel? <laughs> that looks normal to you? Not that that's like one. How, that's how they're dressed, Daniel. <laughs> the one I was showing you was like a full dress, like. No, that, not those. <laughs> that's what I was saying looks more normal. Or add slutty. <laughs> See, I was going to say, but but that length See, that's normal. like normal. I'm looking uh, up slutty I'm ones now. I'm blurry. All right. Yeah, slutty um, anime cat girl maids. Safe search is off. Good. So, oh, um, that's a lot of open tits. <laughs> yeah, so... um. <laughs> Oh, yes. Um, yeah, they're all wearing... Still not clothes. slutty. Google sucks. They're all just regular maid outfits. Yeah, they uh, they were all wearing their pink... Do I have to go pink... to Bing? <laughs> they were all wearing their pink little maid outfits, you know. And uh, right, my I'm brother's done. friends are pretty into anime. So when they came that day, we were like, oh, my God, John, we have to take him to the ah, maid they're cafe. they're into young women? Sorry. Oh, my God. One of his friends, there's an anime... That he's like, oh man, this girl, she's the best girl. She's the, she's my waifu, right? And like, she's 12. She is 12. Yep. Well. And we're like, huh? And he's like, oh yeah, I forget. Like, I'm like, huh? Because they make them look like other anime characters. Because youth is so like desirable there for some reason. Like with the, yeah, you know. Young underage girls. Yeah, with the, with the kawaii. They just picture, raised, you know? didn't they just raise the age of consent to like. 15 or 16 in Japan. <laughs> That's awful. They are. They just raised people it. People are going to be pissed. Yeah, people oh, are going to be were. pissed about they that. They were. Oh, yeah, there is a guy who was reported on Twitter. He was like, I just want to know. And then, like, it cuts off. <laughs> he got banned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not Googling what the age of consent is in Japan. So Please we're just going to have to guess. <laughs> we're yeah, just going to have um, to no one make it up. Information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, we go in there with my brother's friends because they're like, I'm so hungry. I'm so tired from, from walking. And I'm like, dude, you guys, you guys Juliana are- Juliana t- is roasting them right now. I, I'm weak as hell. And these guys are like, I'm so tired. Yeah, no, and I'm the correct. one, I'm the one carrying the backpack with everybody's shit. So You're like, carrying like, everyone's stuff? Lively, why? Why did you let them do that to you? I, no, I, I, I offered to. Woman. Because, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just, 
carrying the stuff because my stuff you're is in like, there too. You're like four foot tall and a hundred pounds. You should be carrying all the men's stuff. It was literally posters, okay? It's, it's How not much did heavy. you eat that day? How much did you eat that day? Two Oreos, be honest. <laughs> that day... I know you didn't eat. I did not eat breakfast, but I ate a lot at Dozone for lunch. We convinced them to go because they're like, I'm so hungry, I'm so thirsty. Right, we walk in and his friends are like, oh, hell no. Hell no. And like, they're like, faces are on fire from being embarrassed because there's like all these maid girls walking around, right? Serving people. You can pay them to do a little dance for you, all of them. And they'll do like a little hey, dance and they'll make a little okay. song, like a little okay. jingle for you. And I hate this. Yeah. Let's, so, t- like, let's take Daniel to a, a cat maid. We, I, you, we no, no, should. no, no. I will not, you will not we see should. me within a mile of the Come on, let's go. We we'll should. take no. Daniel for the, we'll tell him it's no. your birthday. No, <laughs> no, no. Yes. no. He's yes. 16. <laughs> yeah, these, these girls are performers, though. Yeah, yeah they're so, performers, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yep, that's right. <laughs> they Great, come so out now and I'm they sexist for you. refusing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that you know they're they're give them ten dollars for an ooh. ooh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're walking around like they're gonna do their little dance girls. and put a little tablet in front of me, be like twenty percent tip. I give them my entire debit card, just shaking. I'm just <laughs> buy anything you want, sweetheart. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I hated that. I'll take yeah. everything. You have. Ah. What kind of milk you want with that? What kind of milk? Do- Just pressing the cup against. <laughs> Sorry. Stop that. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Well. And uh, t- whenever the artist would go to like the bathroom or go to get food or something, people would have questions about the art, and they were like, "Hey, are you the artist?" To so, like my brother, and he's like, "Um." Uh, no, but they will be right back. And he's like, I will write the number of our booth on the back of this. I suck at every job. (laughs) I will write the number of their, of this booth on the back. And then like, he uses like the shittiest poo-poo handwriting you've ever seen. And and they just stare at it like, yeah, this guy's definitely not the fucking artist for sure. (laughs) And I'm like, yeah, yeah. Uh, Yoshi said that they went to like a furry one and... All right, like, lost my respect. No, no, no. So, so they go to like they go to like all the conventions to like set up their booth, right? And this one, Yoshi was like the furry were- convention to the pedophile convention. Yeah, no, it really like, good. Yo- Yoshi was like lollycon. <laughs> lollycon. Yeah, no. It's, just, it's basically just you know Tuesday morning on Wall Street. It's Talking about soccer pedophile con. con. Soccer con. Ooh, that print looks good, Nick. That's it looks like good, it looks like it looks like a. Uh, it's a movie poster for like yet another sports drama about a coach that got kicked out of his school and has to teach a bunch of dipshits, you know? That's what it looks Man, like. And now I have to work in the women's league. Oh, yeah. oh brother. No, yeah, brother. isn't that kind of isn't that a little problematic how some of those movies start? Like the way that yeah. they make them like that. They're like, Oh brother, I gotta coach the It's like Well the one oh, that's man, out now I- with Woody Harrelson. He's like, Oh brother, I gotta coach the special ed people. You're like Yep. Hey, dude, calm the fuck down. Relax. Really? Relax. <laughs> Isn't there one with, like, Ben Affleck, too, where it's like, oh, you were drunk too many times at this professional basketball game. Now you have to work with children. And it's like, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. It was called It was called The Comeback. Or, ew, okay. <laughs> ew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm getting sick, so I think we should go. To, I'm sweating so bad right now. I need to go All to right. Patreon notes before I die. Okay. So I can also, take out I'm my earbuds. Also, I'm sorry you haven't been feeling well. I think I need to take a pill before I pass out. All just, right, so from our $50 take- patron, All Father, we've got glad to <laughs> donate money to various medical expenses and foreign terror campaigns. I genuinely cannot think of a better way of getting rid of money, so thank you for that. I would also like to thank Daniel and Nick for introducing me to more movies and Juliana for my crippling IBS. My question <laughs> to you is, what is the worst piece of content you believe you've ever made and why? Please put my hard-earned Jimmy John's cash to use. Sincerely, God. I've ever uh, made. All Father is also our new fifty dollars patron, by the way. So we worship Thanks them. Thanks God, we do Thank worship. You, God. <laughs> we uh, do that uh, worship. The worst content you've ever made. Worst piece of content you believe you've ever made, and why? Okay, there's a few things. One, I made. I used to when I was like in, I want to say like sixth grade, seventh grade. Uh, I got my first video camera, and I was faking ghost videos, but they weren't very good, like at all. Um, it was literally me taking a bunch of pictures. No, literally me taking pictures 
and like moving stuff within the pictures but like the pictures were all like i didn't have a tripod or anything so they were like clearly like all different like angles and it just it looked That's awful funny. And, and some guy they're like Whoa. yeah no and then some guy messaged me and he's like this is awful what are you doing like delete your account and it was like a 50 year old dude he was so mad and i apologize i'm like sorry i was just it was, I was a little kid <laughs> i was just bored and i was i, I explained i'm like hey I'm, I'm sorry i'm just a kid and he's like, I didn't mean to go so harsh on you. It's just very frustrating for the paranormal community. Oh I was like, all right, gosh, dude, ew. Um, and then the other worst thing I did was um, there was <laughs> this podcast. I went, I went, no, 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 no. I went to a Walmart. This was back when Vine was a thing, and I remember there was a bunch of pubes like on the toilet seat and one of the stalls, <laughs> and so I just whipped out my phone and I was like. PSA, if you go to Walmart and you use the bathroom and then I flip the camera over and I scream, clean up your pubes, like in public. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I though. need to see that video immediately. <laughs> I don't know if I have it still, but it's oh, the nice. thing. I was like, my vines were like, oh man, such. Oh, we know. Oh. We know. Yeah, but so <laughs> many of them sure. are lost. Yeah, it's lost so- media. <laughs> uh, worst piece of content I've ever made, probably in high school. I feel like, there, so in high school, we made. We had a Juli- uh, fucking Romeo and Juliet project, and one of the options you could do is make a video. Any option where there was make a video, we would make a video. But I was insane, so we filmed. We spent all day filming this scripted at the church because they let us film stuff there. Um, we brought guns, like not real ones, but like we basically made Romeo and Juliet, but with guns instead of swords. And we had like a ten-minute blooper reel on this, which was actually pretty funny. But like we played, the, like so, so the whole video itself was 30 minutes. So we were having the time of our lives watching this, but I realized we're presenting it in a class where no one gives a shit. And I realized how painful this thing was. And mm-hmm. I was like, why did I make people, I'm surprised people like did this because it was just like so much unnecessary stuff. This video was so long. I am passing out currently. Moving mm-hmm. on to comic, uh, toasted sandwich. <laughs> toasted sandwich. Ooh. It says it says Weeter, W E A T E R. So I'm I don't, I'm not trying to screw it up. Weather Weeter, I don't know. With permission from y'all, of course. I also have been talking about you guys so much that now my therapist and a worker for the gender identity group thing I'm in has searched you up. She decided to watch number thirty-seven. I don't remember which one that is. I am surprised she didn't immediately worry for my mental health when I next saw her. <laughs> Also, Daniel, I saw your post on March 6th, and you look fucking awesome, man. Oh, did not expect encouragement in here. Get it out. I don't like compliments. Stop. Also, Nick, do you plan on buying the 10th anniversary thing for random access memories? Dude, I do, I depending on... That the second it came out. Are you I kidding? knew you did. Okay, Have calm down. Have you seen the wall? Calm Have you seen the down. wall? Calm hey, down. This know is our it. $15 patron. I appreciate you, homie. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have you just yelled at him for five minutes. <laughs> I do, depending on if A, it's not sold out, and B, if it's not too expensive. And yeah, lively, one like of these days. Bucks. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And lively, one of these days, that baby you're babysitting is going to fucking swing you around like the Hulk did to Loki because <laughs> oh you didn't God, give it milk true. in time. <laughs> also, Pequeno Pod, what's your thoughts on the hit Daft Punk song, P is Stored in the Balls? Here is the link banger. to it. Absolute Here is the link. I saw also, Daniel, Daniel, that a while ago. <laughs> You did, and I remember that one. Funny, I remember the ones that are peace stored in the world. <laughs> also, Daniel, you've tainted my speech, and now I say golly. Aw. I hope y'all have been good. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey. The fact that your first reaction was, ugh. <laughs> What's wrong with golly? I'm so sorry to that person. Uh, <laughs> Kamikaze Jaguar pod note. I heard you guys can't record for a few weeks, so I'm going to ask everyone the ultimate question, I need an answer from everyone. If your Uncle Jack helped you off an elephant, would you help your Uncle Jack off an elephant? Would you help him off? Uh, wait, yes. Yes. if your if your Uncle Jack helped you, you off an elephant, read it would you help your Uncle Jack off an elephant? Oh, I get it now. Yeah, I'd help Jack him off. off an elephant. I got it. I got it. Ah, I'd help him ah, bust a load. Ah, ah. You almost didn't get me. I I, I almost just was like. Well, I think I, if you helped me, I think I would help him off the elephant. That's the Isn't nicest that thing like, really could do. Life. Isn't that like what they use in Jackass? <laughs> what semen do they use in Jackass when they dump the giant loads? All right, that's oh. the one. All right. Well, I don't know, but I know the guy drank horse nut. 
Oh yeah, they they just like co- they just will like drop like they're oh, like that disgusting. was twenty three gallons of uh, cum, and I was like, what? How'd you collect all that? <laughs> We've gathered all the cum from all the places in the country, <laughs> and I'm gonna drink all of it while my nuts Whose are being voice stung is by that bees. So, is that Steve-O or Knoxville? Yeah, yeah Steve-O. <laughs> now Johnny, yeah. no- I've never Listen. tried a Steve-O impression before. <laughs> Now, Johnny Knoxville is just, hi, I'm Johnny people. Knoxville, and welcome to Jack. That's, that's yeah. just a normal voice. <laughs> hey, that's your Joe Biden. <laughs> that's my every voice thing. Turntable troglodytes note. The first <laughs> note was a meme um, with, uh, oh my gosh, who was the guy? Keemstar. It's a video of Keemstar looking like that at the camera and then doing 5,000 flip jacks and says there's a pipe bomb in your mailbox. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know what the context is behind this meme, but holy shit, I did not expect to see Keemstar doing flips in a carnival. Uh, and the so note is Nikki Nikki. About Alex. And the note is Nikki Nikki Nikki. Can't you see your Daft Punk fetish is too much for me? Shrooms straight up spores grow out of the helmet doodads from you know what from the you know when. Doodads. Verido, Veridos quo, where do they go? Polluting your parents with spores akin to an eldritch abomination. Worse than anthrax in 2001. Fuck Devo. Fuck YTP. I can't find peace in my core when YTP Shrek on crack absorbs more gray matter than the times my cousin Joel locked me in the naughty closet. <laughs> Woo! That was a lot. Oh. And it shows on Discord that it was edited. Oh. So they saw that, read that, and corrected it. <laughs> yeah, that's too it, much. And I that's kept that. Minor <laughs> spelling mistake. I <laughs> Turntable troglodyte has turned into tr- oh. turntable job scout, so that was their note. Oh yeah. And then C um. clan, and then C clan's note. I'm a bit of a busy boy right now, so you giving me like one hour to write this note is absolutely <laughs> unacceptable. I'm about to actually jump. I'm so sorry. I've had it, enough. Uh, I am extremely upset about this. I'll make it quick. I need two things from you. One, I need you to open a, a window and scream as loud as you can for as long as you can think that would be funny oh no i can't do that i'm so sorry i'll refund you the money for the month or something but i can't it's like an echo chamber out my window it's not like outside we're facing each other so they would all see yeah he's in the middle of like with them. <laughs> you'll do it no, no. <laughs> <laughs> they can't prove when i did it Film yourself doing it. Send it to us. Juliana, right. you do the same thing because you live okay. in a house of hell anyway. No one cares. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Number two, can you choose any of your voices? They're all extremely good. Can you sing the chorus to the song I Love My Girlfriend by RXK Nephew, please? My horrible, club-footed, racist, vegetarian, stupid, bad luck bitch of a girlfriend will know it's for her and she'll love it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's almost like RXKN Nephew, her favorite rapper, wrote it for her. I'll win a lot of good boy points for this one. <laughs> All right. Well, the intro um, it starts with boss up and then the N word. So, like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, won't be saying that. And wait, I've got to look up. Okay. I love my Buddy. girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> look it Friend up right now, please. By RXK. And <laughs> boss up. Not that. <laughs> Who was your last boyfriend, Paper. bitch? Sit down, bitch. Let's make a plan. Text that guy. Get in his head. Tell that guy that you miss him. Send oh, that guy pictures of, of your guy, pussy. Ins- instead of guy, say buddy. <laughs> yeah, say mm, buddy. Text that brother in Christ. Get in his head. Tell that brother in Christ that you miss him. Send that brother in Christ pictures of your pussy. <laughs> bitch talking about how that brother in Christ crazy. That lemon squeeze a wet ass pussy. Baby girl, she said don't like to strip, but she set brothers in Christ up. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the hook? This is so long. Scroll down past like the little edge. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend like Robin buddies. 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 My little bitch just like me. Told my bitch don't be fucking for free. She like buddy I ain't selling pussy. My girlfriend like Robin buddies. My girlfriend like Robin buddies. <laughs> okay. Well, that shit's sexy when she hold the Glock. <laughs> <laughs> Neff got an eye for the lick like the birds. Huh? Okay, Lovely. well, that sounds like a good time to leave. Disconnected. Oh, we have one more. Oh, I'm about ready to pass out. What do you think would win an overrated competition, SZA or Beyonce? Keep in mind, both make fine music, but they both keep getting... F- 
They both keep getting fucking Yas queened every time they make another OK song. Nick would know this. This is Nick's question. I think Beyonce is severely overrated. Anything that she makes is just like considered gold because it's Beyonce versus uh, SZA is... I think she has good music. I don't... I don't listen to SZA, but like... Stuff I have heard, it's decent. I feel like I would listen to SZA over Beyonce. That's definitely how I pronounced it, too. I definitely didn't sound out the word with all the letters. <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> no, I would never do that. That would be the whitest thing ever. Uh, shout I don't out even to my know if I'm J- pronouncing it, right? If I'm being honest. <laughs> shout out to my buddy Jared. His at is Miami-Dade County Sex Offender Registry. <laughs> Fine. This is good stuff. <laughs> I am going to have to go lay on my bed. Okay. And not move my head for a few hours, I think. Okay, stay safe.